Whew, never end the send. That is what it's all about. I didn't think I was gonna catch fish. I'll be honest, I didn't think I was. I was okay with not catching one. The Jersey Series send is kicking right back off from where we left off last night. I've got the bait caster on and tonight. I'm using one bait caster for pike fishing and then going on for stripers to finish the day off with my buddy Justin. The bite was too good last night, so I couldn't stay home and not fish. And I'm also only using one lure. So I'm gonna be throwing this SP minnow for the whole night. Pike on this, stripers on this, and using one rod, that's it. One rod, one lure challenge, not one rod, one reel, one rod, one lure. So if one rod wants to do this challenge with me, I think that I could beat him at it. So that's my claim. Tonight we're going out there, it's gonna be sick. Let's get on the send. Got some tag ends, no problem. We're off. Quick cut, I don't know if the car's gonna start. I stalled out last night, battery died. Let's see, fingers crossed. <laughs> Woo, we're live, baby. <laughs> Walking to the spot, like I said, staying true to it. SP minnow the whole time. The big ripples, it's springtime, the fish are feeding up. And this is exactly why I'm throwing a big bait fish invitation. The pike are hungry. They've had a slow winter where they haven't been eating as much as usual. And now the warm weather is kicking up and there's bait moving around the creeks and high flows. The fish are gonna be feeding like you wouldn't believe. Let's get down here and catch one. Wow, very high water. This is usually land right in front of me scrambling because I forgot my knife in the car. I was like, wow, now I gotta get creative and figure out how to make my leader shorter. But look at that, line cutters on the car keys. You can't beat that. You can't make that up either. If you ever nick line into the water, make sure you pick it up and throw it out properly when you get home because you don't want to leave line in the water. It's a big thing that people do when they're fishing. They, if they cut a knot, they kind of just throw it off. Never do that. It will stay in the river forever. It'll maybe harm a fish, harm a bird. Springtime pike fishing amidst high flows means that the pike are feeding up like crazy. There's a lot of bait being pumped into the creek and the water's warming up so the fish are becoming less and less lethargic and they're really gonna hit lures out of pure aggression and pure hunger to feed because they haven't been feeding as much during the winter. So today should be the day the pike fishing's heating up. Fingers crossed we land some good pike and then stripers later is pretty much a guarantee. So let's do it. I usually don't throw this beefy of a rod but I found it lying around threw my bait caster reel on here because I don't have a striper setup for tonight. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna use a heavy bait caster setup. And the SP, I could really throw this on my medium bass rod. Definitely works better on a heavy bait caster. So this setup's pretty legendary. I'm excited to see how it handles pike. Just being out here fishing the swamps of Jersey looking for these gators is something really special. This spot looks pretty good right here. Got some current pumping through, but also got a little pocket right in front of me. Springtime, especially you want to find, well for pike fishing, you want to find the areas on the side of the fast current where the pike can kind of just sit and wait for the bait. Just gonna slow roll it straight up the current, wait for a fish to just see it coming and slash it. I want to come up and smoke it. Oh yeah, this spot is looking money. Absolutely money. We need the first pike of the day, just to give me some confidence. Make me feel alive, make me know that the pike are alive. Come on. I'm kind of feeling at this spot. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, river pike. Just gotta figure out the pattern of these fish. All I'm throwing is SP, so there's not much figuring out to do, just kind of casting. It's a one rod, one lure challenge. Right, we're, gonna, we're gonna catch one momentarily. No bites at all, no signs of life in the river, but that's not stopping me from doing what I set out here to do. Catch a fish on the SP minnow. I've just been taking casts, reeling it in super slow, and just getting really in tune with the environment. I feel super connected to the river right now. And I just got a feeling that these fish are gonna bite at the next spot. Fingers crossed. If they don't, it's okay. We're gonna keep on moving. Go for striped bass a little bit later. But I got a good feeling this spot up here might produce something. And the second you get that feeling like you're a part of what's out here, you're a part of the river and the pike and the entire ecosystem, you have a whole new lease on life where you don't get too discouraged if you don't catch fish, but you have that much more of a chance of catching fish just because you're taking it one step at a time and you're not thinking about the next cast when you're currently on the cast before that. So that's a big part of what I'm doing out here today, just really focusing on taking it slow one step at a time. And I think that that's what's gonna catch me a pike today. This next spot right here is definitely gonna have a fish. And I know it for a fact, so I'm gonna set the tripod up because that's how much confidence I have that I'm gonna catch a fish over here. Okay guys, today's mission is far beyond just catching fish. It's about getting truly immersed in the environment. 
But that being said, SP Minnow side on, and that doesn't mean we're not catching fish. That just means we're getting more in tune with the nature and really figuring this out how we should. Like, you shouldn't read a book and then come out here and fish. You should learn when you're on the water. So that's kind of what I'm saying here. And I think that mentality is gonna get us pretty far today. And catch us not only a pike, but a striper on the SP. And I'm running out of time here. I'm not getting discouraged though, because if I were to get a little bit anxious about not catching a pike here and be like, oh shoot, like panicking about it, I don't think I would catch one. But I have this feeling like, even if I don't catch a pike, it's okay. And this lure is not only gonna catch a pike, but also catch a striper later on. I just felt so obligated to hit this spot. Like now if I don't catch a fish, I'm gonna feel like, what's wrong with me? Like, do I not know how to fish anymore? There was like this energy pulling me down to this spot. I swear. And I think slower the better with this lure right now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I don't even know if I'm filming. Oh, he's digging. Oh, it's a, it's a pike, it's a pike. That was a pickle. Loosening the drag. Holy shit. I was literally thinking, all right, I'm leaving here. Let me set the fish. Oh my God, on SP. Let's go. Let's freaking go, he choked it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo! Pike landed. I never in the sun, baby. On the SP minnow, like I was talking about, that's freaking crazy. I switched up SP to this bigger style presentation because the fish, they weren't biting. I was like, all right, go big or go home. I tied on this giant SP, caught me a nice New Jersey pike. <laughs> Let's go, baby. New Jersey, baby. That, my friends, is what I call waiting it out until the last second until you get a bite. I was about to leave, about to stop fishing. That's a nice, almost 30 inch pike. Let's get this beautiful fish right back on our way. Thank you for the fight. There she goes. Woo, never end the send. That is what it's all about. I didn't think I was gonna catch a fish. I'll be honest, I didn't think I was. I was okay with not catching one. But, but we did it. On to the striped bass now. Fish with my buddy Justin. We're gonna smoke him tonight. I already know it. We're fishing incoming tide until nine. Switched over outgoing about then. So we're gonna be fishing the sunset bite into the dark. <laughs> Please subscribe, support the dream. I'm doing this for my whole life. I'm just gonna be adventuring, living the sky life, doing things my way. You guys can follow along with it. On our way to go striper fishing. I just got back to the car. Leaving the waders on for the ride. I think that's pretty sick. And I just still can't get over that pike catch. Not just because I caught the pike, but because I landed on the lure that I set out here to use, the SP Minnow. And I didn't say it to the camera, but that was my last cast. I was heading out after that and I was totally satisfied. I was like, whatever, we're gonna catch stripers later. That little pike catch though really got the night kicked off. We're gonna fish the sunset bite for stripers. And then, yeah, just see where that leads us. Might catch some 20 pounders, some 36 inches, who knows? But Jersey striped bass fishing in the inshore early season, that's what we're doing next. So if you guys are looking for some tips on how to get on stripers, we're gonna give those to you later on and show you what it's all about, what the adventure truly can turn out to be. It's, it's really cool what happens when you're out in nature, just kind of getting immersed like we are today. Update on the send because I need to clarify a couple things. That fish that I landed, I was confused when I saw it come in. I was like, this is a pickerel? Oh no, it's a pike. And then I, I determined it must be a pike. But looking back at the pictures, it was actually a pickerel pike hybrid, which is really rare to this area. Like usually the pike, from what I've heard, don't naturally reproduce as common as some people think. So catching a hybrid species between a pickerel and a pike is really cool. And that was a pretty sizable one. So that makes the catch even better. I mean, I would've been happy with a pike, but that was a pike pickerel hybrid. So I guess a little bit of pickerel in there making me think that I didn't catch the pike. But I mean, I think that that is cooler than a pike in fact, because that's a really rare thing to come across. That is the exact representation of nature at its finest. Pike are not a native species, however pickerel are. And because the pike have been introduced and they're very similar genetically, they can reproduce together. It's kind of like a tiger trout when you get the brook and brown trout that uh, reproduce. That's really cool. I've caught a couple wild tiger trout in New Jersey. 
I'll show you guys pictures of those. And yeah, anytime that you catch something that's just a cool happening of nature is awesome to document and also just to take note of and be like, wow, that really happens out here. So on the Garden State Parkway, 20 minutes away from the striper spot, let's get on them. Never end the scent. Never end the scent. Gotta be one with the fish. is on your right. Alright, just made it down to the spot. I've got the same rod I was using, the same lure. Tide's coming in right now. I think it's going to shift around at about 9.30, so we got a little swan coming up. The nature at its finest. That's sick. We're not targeting swans, so we're targeting striped bass. Going to fish until the sun sets, the incoming tide, and then we're probably going to have slack tide for about I don't know, 30, 45 minutes where we're not getting any bites. And then once the outgoing tide kicks in, we're gonna start catching fish and move on to spot number two, probably just scoping this area out in the bay. I'm gonna work down this way, see if I can find anything up over here. Maybe I could get on this dock and kind of get out there to fish. Let's see where this part of the sand leads us. All right, the night ops mission is going down. Full moon out here. Got the one rod, one more set up. Fishing here with Justin. We're gonna chunk a rod out there with a bunker. How convenient being going right here. I don't know if we talk to a lot of guys and they swear you gotta have the prep. Yeah? Just pulled out. Okay. They'll have bucket pools and they'll see a pod come by and snag one just so they can get a fresh one. Sweet. I guess we'll be snagging bunker two throughout the night, but we'll start out with this. At this point of the night, we chunked a bunker out there, let it soak, and in the meantime, Justin hooked about 50 stripers and brought them in before I even hooked into one myself. But the goal of this part of the trip is to complete the one rod, one more challenge. That means catching a striper on the SP minnow. Let's get right into it. Oh, sweet. We got the circle hooks because I guess that's the wall and the wall now. Yeah, sweet. Chunking it out. Fingers crossed. I mean, we'll, we'll keep renewing the bait throughout the night once we catch some live ones, but. Getting the chunk rod out, and then we're just gonna be casting with SPs. I mean, that's my only choice. I got to throw an SP, and uh, hopefully catching some bass pretty soon. Saw some guys down there catching them. They're rolling in. Vinny was telling us that tonight the bigger fish might be coming in too, 20, 25 pounders. So, send it out there, dude. Oh, that moon's looking crazy. Look at the lefty cast. Let's catch him one. Let's, Let's do it right away and Justin's on probably his second cast let's go dude how's it feeling Not too awesome second cast, bro. hell yeah stop me. I just got my first cast out there <laughs> now you're hooked into one oh yeah she's running gotta give Vinny a call tell him to come over yeah, I, guess so. I was looking like good not one, bad dude. one actually now he's taking some line hell yeah Second cast. Well, kind of my first cast because I was kind of just yeah. fucking around my first cast. No way. <laughs> Cranked it. What are you throwing? That mag guard. Oh, yeah, the mag. Uncle Larry would be proud. That's freaking sick, dude. That's looking good. Oh, popped off. Right here. Yeah, yeah quick release on like him. Tired out, huh? You probably catch him. Yeah, dude, we're on him. Yeah, with the flash. Heck yeah. Well, like like a... Fourth cast. <laughs> Every other cast, Justin's hooking into one. That's got some weight to her. Maybe. With that full moon. Scared for their lives. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll get my hands on this one. I think so. Oh, dude, I think I think this is a big one. That that white mag darter. Getting it done, apparently. Oh yeah, early yeah. season Jersey striped bass. Can't beat it. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Twenty nine incher. Thirty incher. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a mag. Things that go thump in the night. While other people are getting ready for bed, 
before we're done. Creeping while you're sleeping. Yeah. Anyway. Exactly. Creeping while you're sleeping. Got you, dude. <sighs> yeah. Beauty. What a good looking fish. Healthy, right? Let's see, you should have sea lice on it. I was talking right. to my buddy yet the other day and he said they're out in the boat. Yeah. And uh, oh, he almost tail slapped me. I don't see Where many do see sea lice. lice. Usually you see them all. Oh, oh, yeah, right in the back yep. here. Sea lice? That means they're fresh from the ocean because they get the sea lice from being out. Oh, sick. In the ocean. Oh, it's a good shot. Second striper of the night. First one in our hands. Oh, That's what I'm talking about, dude. Fourth cast. Fourth cast. Big one. Let's go. Whew. That's oh. what I'm talking about. Ooh. That's the never end the send energy we needed. Okay so sick out here now it's time for me to catch one on this one rod one lure setup this sp has somehow caught new jersey pickerel pike hybrid which is crazy so it's bound to catch a striper like striper should be easier than that right so you got another yes. nj pig look at the look at the belly on that one <laughs> i'm gonna just have to make a compilation like i be catching so many she's full get her back I'm dude she straightened my hook out oh my god really wow yeah i made that. about 10 casts with this thing and the hooks are already mangled <laughs> oh my god what a fish back on her way dude we're gonna be doing this a lot a lot of fist bumps tonight what do you know the kids hooked up again still haven't uh connected on one myself i lost one but Looks like the mag is the play right now. White mag daughter. <laughs> this one's been smoke. jumping all around. Nice change of pace from freshwater fish. Yeah, you can't beat this, dude. Unless you're sneaking into the trout club. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that thing go. A lot farther than catching one walleye a night. <laughs> <laughs> or none. Or none. No walleye for me. It's been a tough year for the walleye. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh pop. Damn. Damn. We'll keep getting them though. Yet another bass hooked into. Oh, <laughs> These things are jumping all over the place, yeah. Oh, I got a FaceTime Eric. He said he wanted me to FaceTime him. With a striper on? Yeah, he said FaceTime tonight. Little one? Little guy. Oh, that's the baby. Baby guy. Still, still nice nonetheless. Perfect. Yet another striper. Smallest one of the night. It's gonna be a good night for us. Oh yeah, we know it. Why do they like to do that? I don't know. Alright, so like he's found his way. Oh yeah. Oh, he's running. Yeah, it's feeling pretty good. Alright guys, we're hooked into my first good striper of the night. I think I hooked him pretty good. Pinned him on here on the bait caster setup. Oh, dude, he's digging. This is my first feeling of a nice striper tonight. Oh, dude, it's looking pretty big. On the one rod, one lure setup. The same thing they call it a pickerel pike hybrid. Now we're in the salt. Oh, dude, he's busting. Oh, he ran right into the shore. Let's get him up. Oh, let's go, dude. Pretty solid one. There he is. On the SP, the same one they call it the pickerel pike hybrid. Nice striper, probably like 28 inches. That same SP, so sick. Let's get this nice striker back on our way. Sweet, dude. Awesome fish. Put up a nice fight, too. There she goes. Hell yeah, bro. Dude, awesome. Let's go. First one of the night for me. Could be a lot more. Let's keep crushing them. Shortly after landing that striper on this, this rod with SP, Justin caught another striper, nothing new. And I lost the SP, so I guess good we landed that striper. Get that one back. Keep on catching more. I'm gonna throw a bunker X wrap now. I think that's my plan. Just keep catching them all night. Justin said we got a goal now: catch 50 stripers. I think that's an easy goal. Easy goal. Do that no problem. <laughs> 50 stripers, and these aren't small fish. Like we could get them up to 20, 25 pounds, uh, even more than that actually. Oh, yeah. 50 pounds. <laughs> Dude, oh, every cast. No way. Are you kidding me? I took about four cranks. So sick, dude. That's actually legendary. Legendary. I'm just like talking to the camera like a dumbass. Right I think here, they man. watched me cast him and catch him. <laughs> what a small guy. That's insane. Where's, 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 I snagged the bunker for a second. No, it was like ripped and drag. It'll be a big bunker. Slam that. 
Yeah, yeah. He's like a nice one. Yes, dude. Oh, is that the smallest one of the day? This is another smallest one. Oh, a little dinker. I'm getting smaller. <laughs> what time is it, dude? It's not 30, baby. That's <laughs> the time is. Every cast, like Justin's just casting yeah. out while I'm tying on a bait and he's catching fish left and right. <laughs> Let's go. That is that is a 30 pounder. God, dude, whole, whole gang rolling through here. Only 12 guys. Word got out about the stripers. Oh. Dude, we found out before this. 12 people back there. 30 more coming behind us. I mean, NJ fishing, baby. NJ, yeah. NJ Can't keep the spots low key. Just switched up to this mole imitation. We're gonna start fishing the bottom a little bit. The bite slowed down on the SP and mag darters. So let's cast out here. Try to catch some more. I had a spinner bait like that. It called me like all my bass. Then I went down to DC and I was fishing the tidal basin with it. I caught like a, I swear, I think it must have been eight pounds. I think I saw that. Got him. Yeah, dude, mullet, mullet, soft plastic. Yeah. Fish in the bottom. Oh, yeah. Tail whacking me. We're live, baby. Hooked into my second striper of the night on the soft plastic. It's a good fish. Decent one, decent. Oh, fat one, dude. He's been chomping the bunker. Then somehow found a mullet. He thought he was down in Florida for a second. Oh, gonna chill out for a second. Oh, dude, that's a, that's a good one. Sick. I bought this for the Florida trip. Not throwing it for stripers up here. He got confused. He thought it was he thought he was down in Florida feeding on the mullet. This guy went a bunker though. Get him back on his way. There he goes. <laughs> Justin's back on, dude. He literally said that's a great feeling, that thump. And then all of a sudden. There. Took about three turns of the reel. Oh yeah. Thump. <laughs> wow. Oh wait, are there's bunker right in front of us? With bass on him, you think? Holy shit. This bass is going nuts. I'm gonna slow roll try to catch one of them. Oh my god. Get a double going. Maybe one of those every cast nights. Maybe. The tide's not even up here. Yeah, dude. Beauty. What a good looking fish. Oh. NJ pig. Look at the look at the belly on that one. <laughs> I'm gonna just have to make a compilation, like I'm gonna be catching so many. She's full of bunch of dude. Wow. What a night of night fishing. I can't get over just the progression of the day today. I was editing all morning and I just decided, all right, I want to get out there on the scent. I connected with my buddy Justin. We were going to stripe bass fish later in the day. So I was like, ding, ding, ding. I want to do some fresh water first, mix up the day and have the best of both worlds, kind of do some fresh water and see what I can get into in the salt. And I ended up throwing that SP minnow for the entire day, which was insane. Um, almost missed my turn, sorry. Got a little distracted caught that pickerel pike hybrid on the SP. Then went to the salt and got on an insane lights out. Yeah, because there weren't any lights, it was nighttime. Striper bite. It was just radical. Like we're we're hooking into fish left and right. Justin, he really laid down the hammer. That kid, like I looked over and every time I looked over, his rod was bent. He was on with another fish. So that really just sums it up. Early season Jersey striped bass. If you guys haven't gone out there already, make sure you get out on the scent and just keep on doing your thing like i hope this video inspired you to do whatever it takes whenever you want to get out on an adventure catch some fish maybe not catch some fish today it luckily worked out but i was totally cool with not catching any fish either way it would have been just as good of a day just kind of getting out there with a clear head and just doing my thing i gotta get over quick so we're gonna make it home safe. Hope you guys keep on getting out there. Keep on promoting the positivity of fishing as always and it never end the set. <laughs> it feels so good just passing the traffic. <laughs> never end the set. You heard it? It's as simple as that. Just never end it.